savvy. Hey, it's your girl Kiki, and I have such a unique treat for you today. We're heading to the land of the Thunder Dragon. Forget your overcrowded beaches and tourist traps. Bhutan is a different beast altogether. Nestled in the Himalayas, this tiny nation is like a mystical snow globe, complete with towering mountains, ancient monasteries, and a culture that's both deeply spiritual and surprisingly sassy. Think vibrant festivals, archery competitions where monks trash talk like pros, and a deep-rooted belief in happiness as a national goal. Bhutan measures its success in gross national happiness, not just GDP. So buckle up, baby doll, because we're about to dive headfirst into the land of the Thunder Dragon. Let's get one thing straight. Bhutan's history isn't for the faint of heart. We're talking warrior monks, epic battles, and enough intrigue to make Machiavelli blush. The story begins with Shabdrung Nungawang Namgyal, a Tibetan Buddhist master who arrived in the 17th century and said, this place needs some serious spiritual guidance. He unified the country, built zongs, fortresses that look like they're straight out of a fantasy novel, and basically laid the groundwork for Bhutan as we know it. Fast forward a few centuries and enter the Wang Chuck dynasty. In 2008, Bhutan did something totally unexpected. They voluntarily transitioned from an absolute monarchy to a constitutional one. Bhutan's culture is a vibrant tapestry woven from ancient traditions, Buddhist beliefs, and a healthy dose of fun. Festivals, or chechus as they're known locally, are the lifeblood of Bhutanese culture. Imagine masked dancers swirling to hypnotic drumbeats, monks chanting ancient prayers, and enough color to make a rainbow jealous. The traditional Bhutanese attire, known as the go for men and kira for women, is basically the national uniform. It's like a fashion week where everyone's invited and comfort is key. Archery is practically the national sport and these guys and gals knock it out of the park. Forget GDP, Bhutan marches to the beat of its own drum. They've got this little thing called Gross National Happiness GNH, which basically means they prioritize well-being over wealth. Think of it this way. Imagine a country that cares as much about its citizens' mental health as it does about its economic growth. From free healthcare and education to environmental conservation and the preservation of their unique culture, Bhutan is all about finding that sweet spot between progress and peace of mind. So, if you're looking for a destination that nourishes your soul as much as your Instagram feed, Bhutan's got you covered. Just don't forget to pack your meditation app and your sense of adventure. Think Bhutan's all about remote monasteries and mountaintop meditation retreats? Think again, my friend. Thimphu, the capital, is a delightful mix of traditional architecture, trendy cafes, and government buildings that look like they belong in a fairy tale. It's the only capital city in the world without traffic lights. Then there's Paro, the gateway to Bhutan, with its iconic Tiger's Nest Monastery clinging precariously to a cliffside. And let's not forget Punica, the ancient capital, famous for its stunning zong or fortress that sits majestically at the confluence of two rivers. From the charming town of Trongsa to the historical and spiritual heartland of Bumthang, each city offers a unique glimpse into the soul of Bhutan. Life in Bhutan is a curious blend of ancient traditions and modern influences, where spirituality permeates everyday life and the pace is refreshingly slow. Imagine waking up to the sound of chanting monks, sipping yak butter tea with your breakfast, and spending your days exploring ancient temples and hiking through pristine forests. But don't let the tranquil facade fool you. Bhutanese people know how to have a good time. From archery competitions to colorful festivals, there's never a dull moment. Whether you're chatting with a monk about the meaning of life or sharing a laugh with a local farmer over a cup of ara, the local rice wine, you'll quickly discover that Bhutanese hospitality is as warm and inviting as a cup of yak butter tea on a chilly Himalayan night. Let's talk money, honey. Bhutan's currency is the Ngoltrum, BTN, and it's pegged to the Indian rupee, INR, which is pretty handy since you can use both currencies here. Bhutan's economy might be small, but it's got big dreams. They're all about sustainable development, which means they're big on hydropower, tourism, and agriculture. Bhutan's not about that crazy consumerist lifestyle. 
Think local markets bursting with colorful textiles, handcrafted souvenirs, and enough prayer flags to decorate the entire Himalayas. Okay, listen up, because getting into Bhutan isn't as easy as booking a flight and showing up with a smile and a dream. First things first, you gotta book your trip through a licensed Bhutanese tour operator. Once you've found your perfect Bhutanese matchmaker, aka tour operator, they'll handle the visa process for you. Bhutan has this thing called a minimum daily tariff, which means you'll be paying a fixed amount per day for your trip. This covers your accommodation, meals, transportation, a licensed guide, and a sustainable development fee that goes towards all those awesome things that make Bhutan so unique. Buckle up, foodies, because Bhutanese cuisine is not for the faint of heart or stomach. Get ready for a flavor explosion that's as bold and fiery as the mythical Thunder Dragon itself. First up, we've got emadachi, the national dish that's basically a love letter to chilies and cheese. Imagine this! Chunks of creamy, salty cheese swimming in a fiery chili pepper sauce, usually served with a side of red rice. But wait, there's more! Get ready for momos, those little steamed or fried dumplings filled with meat or veggies. For the adventurous souls, there's ara, the local rice wine that's as potent as it is unique. So, you're ready to pack your bags and jet off to Bhutan? Hold your horses, my friend. Before you book that flight, let's talk weather. Spring, March to May, is a magical time to visit Bhutan. With blooming rhododendrons, clear skies, and temperatures that are just right. Summer, June to August, brings the monsoon season, which means lush greenery and dramatic skies. Autumn, September to November, is another popular time to visit. With clear skies, vibrant foliage, and perfect hiking weather. Winter, December to February, can be chilly, especially at higher elevations, but it's also a magical time to experience Bhutan's snow-dusted landscapes. Okay, okay, you want to experience Bhutan like a boss? Well then hold your knickers, pumpkin head, because this ain't your average tourist destination. Bhutan is all about adventure, spirituality, and getting up close and personal with nature. For the adrenaline junkies, there's trekking through pristine Himalayan landscapes, mountain biking down winding mountain passes, and whitewater rafting on rivers that will make your heart skip a beat. If you're looking for something a little more zen, Bhutan's got you covered. Imagine meditating in centuries-old monasteries perched precariously on cliff sides and attending colorful festivals. And let's not forget about the food, honey. Bhutanese cuisine is an adventure in itself. Good news, language lovers! You won't need a phrasebook to navigate the land of the Thunder Dragon. English is widely spoken in Bhutan, thanks to its inclusion in the education system. From street vendors to government officials, you'll find plenty of Bhutanese people eager to chat with you in English, sharing their culture, stories, and maybe even a few jokes along the way. So brush up on your conversational skills, pack your sense of humor, and get ready to experience the warmth and hospitality of the Bhutanese people. Listen up, my eco-conscious adventurers. Bhutan takes its responsibility towards Mother Earth very seriously. This means no littering, respecting local customs and traditions, and being mindful of your footprint on this pristine environment. Think of it as an exclusive club for responsible travelers who appreciate authenticity, sustainability, and the privilege of experiencing one of the world's most unique and well-preserved cultures. Hold on to your socks, history buffs, and adventure seekers, because Bhutan's got a lineup of must-see spots that will leave you breathless. First up, we've got the iconic Paro Taktsong, aka Tiger's Nest Monastery, clinging precariously to a cliffside. Next on the hit list is Punakad Zong, a majestic fortress strategically located at the confluence of two rivers. This architectural masterpiece will transport you back in time with its intricate woodwork, colorful murals, and breathtaking views. And for a taste of Bhutan's spiritual side, head to Buddha Jordanma, a giant golden Buddha statue overlooking the Thimphu Valley. From the charming town of Paro to the picturesque Pobjika Valley, Bhutan is a treasure trove of hidden gems waiting to be discovered. Thanks so much for hanging out with us today. So if you've had fun or learned anything, do us a favor, like comment, subscribe, share. That stuff really helps out the channel. 
We really need your help in building our community. We release polls, memes, and fun stuff at 9 a.m. Eastern every day. You can find them on our community tab, a short video at 2.15 p.m. daily, and a longer type video every other day. We'd love to hear from you. Leave us a hello in the comments below. Also, you can check out the super links we have in the description for Savvy Travel Gear to help keep you safe on your next journey. Or if you prefer, you could simply buy me a coffee with the QR code on the screen or with the link in the description below. We are so grateful for your love and support of the channel. Remember to be kind, be gentle with yourself, and know that you are appreciated. Peace.